it's it's a nuisance. Um, it's devastating for you know the families in this area. My best friend and his family especially. <laughs> Residents in Kalamazoo battling widespread floods. Waldo Stadium at Western Michigan University submerged underwater, the city getting four inches of rain overnight. Well, we're in the process of moving stuff up to higher ground right now. Um, the water is getting higher and higher. And it's affecting multiple parts of the city, including this woman who was just trying to get to work Thursday morning. I turned onto the road and it looked like the water was at the same level, uh, but spoiler alert, it was not. It was much higher because the road was much lower. And she didn't make it far. Well, it stopped. <laughs> it just stopped. And I said, oh no, this is bad. She says a tow truck driver picked her up and carried her to Gordon Water System nearby. I don't know how they're going to do. We'll see. There we go. Folks, they're saying the water is knee high. Uh, it makes it very difficult for our customers to get in, and we've had to use our trucks to block the streets to help prevent people from going down through the water and flooding out. But some people are braving the floods. If you have a kayak, I think you can go down almost to Bronson Hospital from here. A few roads around the hospital and the downtown area blocked due to the floods, and it's impacting businesses like Studio Grill, which is experiencing more empty tables than usual. This has been very frustrating for us this morning. Usually we're packed, and we've had probably a total of seven tables all day long. Business also slow on the other side of town, near Crosstown Parkway, where Smokes on Burdick is located. I lose 95% of my business today. That's a lot. The owner says he's grateful to still be open, considering other businesses are so flooded they had to close. But something's got to be done to put an end to all the floods. And we're in the floodplain. I understand that. But, uh, you know, it's worse than it's ever been the last five years. In Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.